asking how much money did we put in to this build so far so in this video i'm going to be answering these questions along with some other questions that you guys had now i always answer these questions that people have in the comment section of the building videos but there might still be some people that don't want to ask these questions but maybe still have questions or are wondering uh, about a few other details so yeah like i said this is what i'm going to be doing in today's video i'm going to be answering you guys' questions and answering how much money we put into the build so far along with some other details that we're going to put in some design elements and other stuff like that the whole plan that we have for this whole house so this video is going to be pretty interesting for you guys to see what this house will look like after we finish it and also the time period that it will take us to finish this house so i'm gonna tell you guys the story of how we got this house why we got it and what we intend to do with this house when we finish it so if you guys are interested definitely make sure to drop a like on this video and also subscribe to my youtube channel with notifications on i will be posting more and more building videos when we do go to wisconsin because it is getting warmer i checked the weather and it is supposed to be coming up in the 30s next weekend so i think we are going to be going there next weekend and we're not, probably not going to be doing anything with building, most likely not, but I will be doing a few videos there, some ATV videos for sure, because there is going to be a lot of snow, so stay tuned for that guys, it's going to be really cool. But hopefully we will be getting started or continuing with this build in March, hopefully that's what our plan is, because we do still have a lot of work to do, so we definitely want to get this done before the summer ends, or hopefully before it even starts, so... You know this should be pretty cool so yeah guys let's just get into this video so how do we get this house so we were just on a little weekend vacation in wisconsin we went out camping and it was really fun i do also have some videos of that if you guys want to check it out the links will be in the description it was very fun there we went boating and all that other stuff but the day before we went back home from our vacation we were interested in a few houses there to maybe you know have houses as like recreational houses uh, because we do go to Wisconsin a lot, so, you know, a house would be pretty cool to have in there. Because not only can we do our own things, but we can also rent it out to people and earn money on the way. So we went to look at a few houses. There were really nice houses in this very kind of rich kind of neighborhood. There was houses made out of, like, wood. It was kind of cabin houses. So, you know, they were really nice houses, but those were just way too expensive. The lots were also very expensive with high association so that's why we didn't really buy any of those but we did call an agent and she told us about a house that was very close to the lake or the river also known as the petenwell river and that place is just always where we go to so you know that was just a perfect spot so one day before this house got listed up for sale we went to go look at the house just kind of on the outside because we weren't able to get into the inside because the house wasn't listed on the market yet it was the day before so we did get to have a little preview of this house we were also looking at a different house which was a little bit further away it was about 15 minutes away from the petenwell lake or river i don't really know what what it is i think it's the petenwell river and we went to that house it was really nice uh it was actually like a house it wasn't even a mobile home it was a house on the foundation so you know it was a really nice house we could have got that house and also we had five acres of land the neighbors were nowhere to be seen because the neighbors that we have right now are really bad like you know we drive our atv yeah it's it's pretty loud but like he just has a very big problem with our atv you know it being loud or whatever but you can't ride an atv there it says even atv route so i don't know why he gets so mad but that's just what it is we don't even drive it close to his house. We do have about one and a half acres of land so in the house that we have right now. So I think that it is more than enough space for us to be driving around there. But he just gets really mad. But yeah, I don't really care. We're going to sell this house probably anyway soon once we do uh, remodel it. So, you know, we'll look maybe for other houses. But I'll get into detail with that a little bit later. But yeah, back to the other house that I was talking about. Like I said... It was a really nice house. It was bigger. It was around like 1,500 square feet. The water was not connected in that house. Electricity was, but the water was not. So that's the only thing that we really had to do in there, you know, with connection and everything. Obviously, the house was pretty ruined in there. It wasn't nice at all. There was, there was only like two windows in that whole entire house. Two windows in the 1,500 square feet house, which is not good at all. So we 
would have to add more windows but that's really not a big deal the garage that we have in our house right now in wisconsin is very big it's like a six car garage the one that we were looking at that we didn't get uh the one that has five acres of land had a really small garage for maybe like one car but it's not even a big deal we could build up a new garage it doesn't even have to be a six car garage it can be like a three car garage for like ten thousand dollars so uh, it wouldn't be a big deal like i said it is further away from the stores but there was also a lake the other side of the dam that we always go fishing at it was about like two minutes away from there so about the same length uh to the peace and well dam from the house that we live in right now so yeah we also go to that fishing place a lot actually as well and that park also has a beach so that was really nice but we didn't end up getting that house just because i don't know we really didn't like it that much at first now we sort of regret getting not getting that house because it was a way better house neighbors like i said were nowhere to be found because like i said we have five acres of land over there so it would have been really nice to get that house instead of the house that we got right now but i don't know we just didn't get that it just kind of seemed like closed down a little bit I guess but now we regret it so we went with the house that we are at right now I don't know if I'm gonna tell you guys the price of this house or not uh, I'm probably gonna be telling you guys the price of this house how much profit we made after we sell it because we are planning to sell this house once we do finish uh, rebuilding it and remodeling it so you know just to get the money and then maybe look for a house here to kind of flip and maybe we can get a house in Wisconsin again but it has been a really nice time we probably will be selling this house in Wisconsin we might not even get to the point that we rent that house out to people to get money so I don't know we'll just see what happened but most likely we are going to be selling that house so yeah we bought that house in August 8th 2020 and in mind we already had a few options like maybe to sell that whole trailer and build up a brand new house that was one of the options we didn't go with that because it was just way too expensive you know permits and other stuff like that it went to the point that it wouldn't really be worth it to build a new house because if we would sell it then we wouldn't get that much profit another option was to just remodel the whole house which that's what we ended up doing but that really isn't the option the option number three was to remodel the house and build an addition because the whole mobile home it was it was small it was only about 1080 square feet so pretty small house so we built up a about 600 to 700 square feet addition we are not done with that at all yet we do have the whole house standing already we did the electric plumbing we put the insulation in so we are pretty much ready for drywall and other stuff like that so i'm pretty excited to that point obviously i will be recording this and i will be putting this on my youtube channel very shortly once we get started with it i know that you guys are asking about videos you know you guys want more videos to come and you know i'm really trying to make these videos so so you just guys have to be patient because i am making these videos we are going to be making them once we go to wisconsin again to continue with our build so don't worry guys there will be more videos we are probably looking at about probably more than 10 more videos to come uh before we do finish the whole house you know so don't worry guys there will be much more videos to come of how we put up the tiles kitchen cabinets floors carpets everything like that so so it'll be very exciting i'm also very excited for this so i can't wait until we start doing this so now i'm gonna talk about the price of this edition and the whole remodel so at the end of the whole build we are going to be looking to spend at around thirty thousand dollars so it's a little bit more than we expected we thought that maybe we would we would get away with only spending twenty thousand dollars but we didn't we're not going to be able to do twenty thousand dollars because for the edition itself we already spent $13,000, so $20,000 is definitely not possible for us because we still have a lot of work, not just in the addition, well not too much work in the addition, all we really have left to do is, is to probably change up the plumbing just a little bit because we do have a bathtub that is a little bit too big for what we measured out in there, so we will have to change that up a little bit. But after that, we will just be able to put the drywall in and secure everything so i'm very excited for that there's not much work left to do in the addition we will have to you know install like you know, light bulbs and everything like that carpets floors but that can be done really easily and really fast but that's just the addition we still have the whole mobile home trailer which there's a lot of work a lot of tearing down to do there because it is a very old house 
This house was built in 1967, I think. So it is a very old house, but we should be able to do this pretty fine. There's just a lot of ripping down to do. At the end of this build, the house will be looking to be around 1,700 square feet. So that's actually a pretty good house, pretty big house for Wisconsin for sure. And hopefully we will be able to sell it for a good amount of money. Obviously it's Wisconsin, so we can't take as much money as we would take maybe over here, but hopefully we can sell it for a lot and gain hopefully at least $60,000 profit because that would be pretty nice to at least get profit of 60,000, if not anymore, because that's not too bad, honestly, because you know, not only did we have fun, you know, being in the house and having all that other stuff, you know, all up to ourselves, but also we can get money on the way. Now I'm going to talk about the plans of this house and the kind of design that we're going for. So here I drew down a little plan of what we have so far, the front slash current stage. So before the addition, this is all that we really had. It was this existing, and there was also already an existing addition that was already with this mobile home trailer. So all of this was only about 1,080 square feet, which really isn't a lot, especially for us and people that, you know, we thought that we would want to rent this out. So we planned out to do a about 600 to 700 square feet addition. As you guys can see, I wrote down how much we spent so far, around 13K. Here's the driveway. The driveway is also really big. Definitely one of the bigger driveways of, you know, our neighbors. But yeah, the house is pretty close to the road. The road is like right over here. Here's our house. It's really pretty close to the road. Uh, we wanted something like I said, with a five acre house where it was nowhere to be seen. Uh, from the road it was just a big like driveway like this through the forest it was a really nice house i wish we got that but we didn't and the house also got sold for two thousand dollars less than what we bought this house for so unfortunately we didn't get that house but it's okay because this house is still really nice and we will be selling this house anyways most likely so here's the current master bedroom here's the bath this house is only two beds and one bath so that's why we want to extend this this I'm talking without the addition so far. I also have a plan over there with the addition and everything added. So uh, we're only focusing on the trailer so far. There was also a split right here and here's another room. Here's the living room. This is the deck area or patio area. And here's the kitchen. And here we had an existing addition, which there was nothing in here. This was just a complete waste of space. So we decided to put this space into use which I will now pull out the completed project or our plans of what we want to do with this project. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff as you guys can see. I know it kind of looks confusing, but it's really not. I'm going to go step by step. So now we are looking at the diagram that I drew out with the mobile home trailer, the existing addition and the addition that we just put up. So this plan might not be totally exact because we are, we do have a set plan for what we want to do, but we are not sure if this plan is exact because we are switching around things as we go so we don't really have a set plan for this so yeah like i said we are going along with the build kind of switching up plans as we go we aren't really switching around the plan way too much as we go but just a little bit maybe the kind of space that each room has so this might not be the exact plan but this is just what we have planned out so far so here is the existing addition the entrance is right over here. I don't know if we're gonna keep this entrance or not. We are actually gonna use this space, which was the existing addition from right over here. And we are actually gonna use this space for a kitchen. If you guys remember, the kitchen used to be here in the existing plan. We don't know if we're gonna have a pass through here. Currently it is. Here is where the living room will be. Most likely the deck will be here. The deck is actually pretty nice. So we are just gonna be painting this. Here most likely will be the hallway, bedroom, one will be right over here. Bathroom one will be here. Then bedroom two will be over here. Here will be a pass through. This will be a stairs. And here will be the hallway. Here will be all the supplies and washing machine, dryer, everything like that. Now here will be bedroom number three, which is the master bedroom. There's also a patio kind of door here that we will do. We will also have like a patio here. So it will be really nice. Here will be the master bathroom. It's actually a pretty big bathroom. We will have a shower, bathtub, the vanities, and a toilet roll. So you guys got to look at the existing plan and the completed plan. 
you know comparing these two plans kind of see what changed and what we added on so now you guys hopefully will get a better understanding of what we are trying to do and i promise you guys this house will look very nice so stick around to the end when i do the whole tour it'll be very interesting very cool and i just can't wait until we get this house done so now i'm going to be talking about the design elements of what we have planned the kitchen cabinets hardwood floors carpets everything like that so i'm sure you guys are also very interested in that so starting with the kitchen there's a lot of different kind of design elements that you can go with here you can you know choose different colors of cabinets different types of cabinets but what we are going to choose gray cabinets and white cabinets is just very modern right now so that's what we're going to go with that doesn't really mean that these cabinets will be very expensive they will probably be some of the cheaper kind of cabinets but they will still be in good quality so this is the thing that i'm not too sure about just yet and it is the countertops i don't know if we're going to use actual granite or if we're just going to use wood countertops because we did actually go to a lot of mobile home shopping centers uh, kind of model homes just laid down for you that you can actually buy the price of those were very expensive the cheapest you know kind of bigger kind of home mobile home was around one hundred sixty thousand dollars, which is a lot for a mobile home which i think that it is a lot but the thing is people actually buy these mobile homes so what i think is that we should also be able to sell this mobile home for at least 160,000. we should be able to do that because if people are buying these mobile homes for the mobile home shopping center then i'm sure they will buy our mobile home as well not only do they have to pay at least 160,000 for these mobile homes they also have to have a land so they also have to spend probably around 15 to $20,000 for land, which is already looking at around $180,000. And plus, maybe some people want to build up a garage. So you are looking at $190,000. So since people are actually doing this, then I hope we will also be able to sell our house for at least $160,000. I think we should. Now, the only main thing that could scare out people from buying our house is that this house is just old. You know, we are just pretty much making this house like brand new but in the end it isn't brand new it does still have the shape and the scale of the old house but going back to the overall design of the house i don't know if i mentioned the kitchen countertops but we are thinking to do wood or granite like i said in these mobile homes they have wood countertops which is pretty surprising but this is just a way to kind of cheap out the materials that they use but the wood countertops actually look really nice as well. Now, one thing that I also noticed with these new mobile homes in the mobile home shopping centers is that for some of the bathrooms, they actually use like a whole tub with like plastic covering, you know? It's not like made out of tile like we are gonna do. So that's also something that, you know, might push pe other people to buy our house instead of those mobile homes that are already built and ready to just take. So for the floors, we are going to be doing hardwood floor. We aren't going to be doing any kind of tile stick-ons or other kind of floor, like fake floor designs. We're just going to stick to hardwood floor. I don't really know what color we're going to use. We might use like gray color. Hopefully we do because they are very modern right now. We are also going to be changing the siding of the house. We'll probably change it to maybe some kind of light gray color because gray is just really modern right now. We don't want too much gray, but honestly, when I look at these houses, there's a lot of gray and gray just really like matches everything. It doesn't really look like there's a lot of gray at all. I just really can't wait until we get to the step of the interior because that is what I'm really excited about. The exterior was also very fun to do. I actually learned a lot of really cool things. So I think I covered most of everything that you guys have been wondering and having questions about kind of the design of our house, the plants and everything like that. If you guys do have more questions, please leave it in the comment section. Don't be scared to ask because I'm always there. I respond very quickly. So don't worry, I will be responding with any questions that you guys have. Just make sure to put them in the comment section of the building videos. I will be commenting back to you guys. But anyways, that is gonna be it for today's video. Don't forget guys to like this video, subscribe, put on those post notifications so that you guys don't miss out any of my other videos, building videos in Wisconsin and anything like that. So, so I hope this video kind of helped you out and answered some of you guys' questions. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time.